So now we're gonna practice a situation where the person's a little bit deeper in their knee slide. They were able to remove the reverse deli heva hook or prevent the reverse deli heva hook. And uh, we're gonna try to make some, some space to replace that. So he goes for his knee slide. I'm able to post, but he'll be able to drop this knee in. Okay, and I was uh, maybe too slow or just, he was able to remove my hook before I was able to put a strong hook in. Okay, so I'm keeping my frame. Now, I would say you could try to pummel this leg all the way over. I've definitely done that before, but you're kind of uh, compromising yourself a bit by doing that, right? It would be pretty easy for him to attack the other side. So what I would prefer to do is bring my shin in front right here. So this is where I'm gonna use this knee shield, keeping my shin in front of his arm and his chest to start bringing my chest away, just like so. Now, because I don't have my reverse telehiba hook, I still don't really have much control. So what I might need to do, okay, is come up to my elbow. So similar to what we were doing from the, the leg drag position before, I bring my elbow out and I post up on my hand. Now this gives me some leverage to start pushing him away with my shin. Okay, now that I'm pushing him away with my shin, you see how it kind of takes him off of his base. Might lift this knee off the mat just a little bit, might fully knock him over. Okay, but now I'll have space to take this leg out, get my foot on the hip, and square back up. Okay, so he gets to that deep knee slide position again. All right, but I still have some kind of frame. I have my hands here, I have my knee close to my chest. Like, we're in a decent position. Okay, so I'm going to bring my shin just over the bend of his elbow here, pushing against his belly. And as I do that, I bring my chest away. All right, now it'd be very hard for him to control my head. There's not a lot of great passing options for him here, but there's not really much for me to do here either. Okay, so on, on occasion, I feel I'm able to just pick my foot up if this knee's not so, uh, not like pinning it on the mat. I'm able to pick my leg up and just put it right on the hip, right? Occasionally that works. If I feel that, I just go for that, right? But what I prefer people practice is when the person's knees on the mat and it's just, you're not just gonna get that foot out uh, so easy. So keep the knee shield in. I bring my hand or uh, I bring my elbow behind me and I post up onto my forearm and my hand. Now I'm pushing him away using my shin uh, or even like another inverse hip escape motion. So inverse hip escape meaning instead of hips back, hips come forward, right? And when I bring my hips forward, I'm able to push him away a little bit and now I can slip this leg out, step on him and replace my guard.